Okay, here we're going to talk about lobar pneumonia. Lobar pneumonia usually happens in stages, and we're going to describe those stages, represented by the mnemonic Krigger. C for congestion, R for repipatization, G for graypatization, and R for resolution. So let's explain. So first, there's congestion, and that happens between days one and two. And this is where the blood vessels and alveo alveoli start filling with excess fluid. The consolidation is reddish-purple, and hence the reddish-purple color over here, and there's partial consolidation of the parenchyma, and the X state is mostly filled with bacteria. Okay, let's move on to R for red hepatization. This happens between days 3 and 4, and this is where the X state, which contains red blood cells, neutrophils, and fibrin, start filling the air spaces and making them more solid. And why is it called hepatization? This refers to the lungs taking on liver-like appearance from the reddish-brown color of the X state. And the arrow here is to help us remember that this stage is reversible. Okay, let's move on to G for gray hepatization. So this happens between day 5 and 7, and, and in this stage, the lungs are still firm, but the color has changed because there's red blood cells in the exudate start breaking down. So it's going to be uniformly gray, and hence the uniform gray color here. And finally, we get up to the last stage. This is resolution, and this happens around day 8, and it can continue for 3 weeks. In this stage, the exudate gets digested by enzymes, ingested by macrophages, or coughed up, and the lung can return to its normal color. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this scene on the natural history of lobar pneumonia. Take care.